permanent magnets and electromagnets. Substances which retain at their ferromagnetic property at room temperature for a long time are called permanent magnets. We can make the permanent magnets in different ways. By striking method, the best way to make a permanent magnet is to place a ferromagnetic rod of the solenoid and pass a current. The magnetic field of the solenoid magnetizes the rod. We can explain the permanent magnets phenomena from figure hysteresis graphs. Steel, alnico, cobalt steel are suitable for making permanent magnets. The material should have high retentivity, high permeability and coercivity. Then the magnet is strong. Magnetization is not erased by stray magnetic fields like temperature fluctuations and mechanical damage, etc. Materials like soft iron are suitable for making electromagnets and coarse inside current carrying coils to increase the magnetic field. On placing a soft iron rod in a solenoid and passing a current, we can increase the magnetism of the solenoid by many times when we switch off the apparatus as shown in figure. Electromagnets are used in electric bells and speakers. Giant electromagnets are used in cranes to lift machinery. The magnetic flux phi is given by phi is equal to ni by r where n is the number of turns in course, each carrying a current of I ampere, where R is the resistance of the coil. It follows from the equation that by increasing the current through the coil, strong magnetic fields can be produced. From the above formula, we move that to have strong fields, either N should be large or I should be increased. By increasing N, the number of turns, the resistance R, if coil is increased. In order to use less power, V squared by R, for a required field, R should be as large as possible. But at the same time, the heat generated in the coil due to the passage of current is L squared R. If R is large, heat generated in the coil is also large and the insulation of the wire prevents the heat to be dissipated away. The temperature of the winding should not exceed 50 degrees centigrade. Among the world's biggest electromagnets are the ones being used in synchrocyclotrons in which the magnetic field is spread over an enormous volume.